Cool. Uh, 1002. Find common characters. Giving it away A of strings made only from lowercase letters. Return a list of all characters that show up in the or all strings within the list, including duplicates. For example, if the character occurs three times and all strings, but not four times, you need to include that character three times in the final answer. Uh, you may return the answer in any order. Okay. So that also seems straightforward. It's just like an, uh, um, uh, a set intersection thing, right? Well, except for that, it could include duplicates, but... Um, Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, and here in this Yeezy, like many other Yeezys, uh, the, big, the big thing to kind of take advantage of, to get, to take advantage of and to warm yourself up is to just, uh, you know, like I mentioned in the last problem, uh, sorting is always important. Uh, the other probably uh, core uh, problem, or uh, core data structure or just technique that you really should be uh, really comfortable with in general for interviews is hash tables, right? Uh, so that's probably how I'm going to do it. Um, what is N100? Mm. I mean, you can also do some like sorting and then counting type thing, but um, yeah, but But yeah, I mean, that's how do we put all the characters in the hash table and then I think the the one tricky thing um, is the duplicates part because if otherwise you just you know go for it in a uh, you, otherwise you just kind of keep a hash table but really just in a way of twenty six. Or depend, uh, is it all lowercase? Yeah, 26 characters or, uh, and then just count them. Uh, but because of this, you would have to kind of count them a couple of times. So, yeah, but I mean, I think just, but it's still the same idea. You just kind of do them in the hash table. I think that should be okay. And then just go back and then, oh, you can return the answer in any order. Uh, and then just go back and it that way and you could still get an O of one type thing. Okay. Um, hmm. Now for hey, these input characters. Uh, I just say S for string and A, oops, and A, uh, and then now is for each character in S. Um, yeah, I'm just figuring out how I want to do it, but this is not that big of a deal. Uh, there are a couple of things. Maybe I, I would just do the thing with the. 26 characters and instead um, I mean you just have to be a little bit clever on how you do the intersection but yeah, yeah okay. also one thing that I need to be better at is is um, I don't need to that much. I don't wonder. It's just getting better at, at arrays and stuff like this in general in Python. Still practicing my Python. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, I come from a C and C++ background and early in the streams, uh, or er, early in the other earlier streams, I've been using C and C++ as a crutch whenever I need to do more array intensive stuff because I don't know, it just always bothers me about off by one and how to initiate it and stuff like this. But I definitely need the practice to kind of uh, just be more familiar. Oh, thanks for the file textile, textile dacto. <laughs> That's a fun to say handle. <laughs> but uh, okay, cool. Let's say clone. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, and you see why I chose a million as some infinity uh, 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 standard note. But yeah. Also, one thing that I always get confused about in uh, Python is kind of. Uh, doing all this stuff, where in C is uh, a character and an int is pretty much interchangeable. So, um, yeah, well, it is what it is. No, it's just for. Now just print it out. How does that go? Like that, is that right? Uh, hey Fred Mc McAllister. Uh, whoops, I gotta transfer them right. Uh, well, do I do this? No. Uh, sorry, I'm almost done with answer your question a second. I do so sometimes, uh, I mean, I, I'm capable in theory of solving stuff in JavaScript. Uh, I've had some Node.js history in my past, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, and you could do it if you want. Probably an easier problem, because <laughs> uh, it's been a while. Um, huh, that is something that I need to be better at in Python. How do I convert it from an int back to, uh, Back to um, now the other way, right? Is it true? There we go. Maybe. Okay. Oh yes. Oh, you're right. I feel like I always. Uh uh uh. Yeah, I feel like every time I read, I see the uh, see someone use the counters library. I'm like, oh. I need to remember to do it, and then I don't. Maybe I should have done it on this one. Uh, I just, I think it's just that uh, it's still not in my toolkit enough for me to remember it. Uh, I need to practice that more. <laughs> a little bit bad on it, but if it's under 100 mils, I can, there's some like variants. I don't think I took that long. Um, maybe I allocate too much memory because I don't reuse, but that's fine, well, actually. but. But allocating memory also takes some time sometimes. I don't know. It's only 2600. 2600. But uh, yeah. Yeah, I was using default int. Um, I was thinking of using it. I, I actually erased it because I, I don't know. I just thought this would be more precise because uh, we always need it anyway. But I guess in, that would have made this part easier and that um, a lot of the keys don't happen. But this is like 26, right? So like. Like if it doesn't like if it shows up or like if the end is zero then it doesn't it only only uh, uh, make one additional cause I don't think that's a bad of a deal but yeah you're right uh, I think I think I still have to try to find find a balance between um, writing precise code and also the uh, uh, just doing it as fast as possible which obviously uh, there is a little bit of a uh, uh, trade-off, uh, especially when you're doing interviews versus when you're doing uh, competitive programming. Um, but but yeah, definitely I need to be better at Python. That's what, that's my takeaway, and I, that, that's something that I've been trying to practice about. So definitely, thank you both uh, to Ambrax uh, and Tactile Dacto. Tactile Dacto. I always want to say to our point now and kind of uh, push me to improve my code a little bit more in Python. Um, so, I feel like in C and C++ I can do anything. But Python is like so many different ways to do the same thing. 
and a lot of them is usually better than the way I do it. Like I write my Python like I write the C's or the the yeah like I write Python the way like I would write C or C plus uh, plus, except for like some you know for each syntax or something like that. But uh, but definitely I need to be better about it. Uh, yeah yeah the people like I actually learn a lot by just reading their code uh, and that's uh, yeah and I, hopefully I keep getting better and and yeah. <laughs> so there's a trick for 16. Oh, uh, like the hex 16? Uh, yeah. Sorted map type. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I, if I need to, I would definitely change languages during a contest, but I, I've i been trying to be a little better about it. But, uh, but I think if I really needed a sort map type, that's probably like on a hard, and on that, I'm less time sensitive in theory. But maybe that's not true all the time. I mean, nothing's always true all the time, but yeah. Uh, uh, hmm. Oh, huh. That is, <laughs> that makes sense, actually. You're right. I definitely should have, uh, even here, I could have done the, uh, the uh, uh, I don't know what that operation is called uh, for strings or for array elements, but definitely I could have done it here. I just didn't really, I, some of that is just that, like, I was still not thinking about it uh, uh, in terms of pure Python. Uh, and and some of it is that, like, if I have enough practice, uh, well, not enough practice, just, like, if I do it enough, I'll probably get it. It's just that, um, well, not even that. I think if I have enough time that I could, like, express my thoughts in a better, precise, Pythonic way. But a lot of the times I'm just, like, I'll be just, I'm, I'm happy to just get it done, you know, uh, especially for in the uh, context of, like, both interview and... Uh, um, Competitive programming, but in general, like, like if I like my pipeline when I when I'm at work, like, is actually generally much more. Uh, I would like to say it's much more clean and more functional programming. E, uh, but yeah, 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 definitely. No, no I definitely appreciate it. Uh, and Rex for kind of the the uh, comments. I'll definitely take a look at it. It's just that I'm, yeah, <laughs> definitely something that I uh, try to get better at. Anyway, yeah. So this form. Uh, I guess I should talk about this problem a little bit first, but which is that, um, yeah, so I just keep a table, uh, I mean, and this is just, I don't know why, you, you could set this to the first, you could set it to none and then also like set it to the first count, but then after that, you just want the min of uh, the number of occurrences uh, for each characters. Uh, and then after that, you just spit it back out and it, and apparently you could do this in like one line, <laughs> give or take. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I mean, honestly, for that stuff, uh, sometimes I have to figure out balance. Uh, and I, some of that is just I'm not familiar with right? because I think like here, I, it probably cost me like 15 seconds to type out. But, you know, usually uh, I make more mistakes in that 15 seconds. But yeah, as an interview question, uh, definitely I have seen a lot of, hash table uh, uh, problems uh, on interviews um, both like around my colleagues and stuff like this so definitely something that you know people should really study on and get really familiar with because it's just a, such a easy and also one of the few things that maybe not few but just one of the things that are very commonly used even outside of uh, uh, an interview so definitely be really familiar because this uh, and just a lot of variations on hash table problems will always come up so yeah oh yeah that's that was the thing I was looking at. Yeah, I always do like a billion or something like that. <laughs> but um, but yeah, vote infinity. I'll try to remember that. 